Billy Bob Thornton. William Robert Billy Bob Thornton, born August 4, 1955, is an American actor, filmmaker, singer, songwriter, and musician. Thornton had his first break when he co-wrote and starred in the 1992 thriller One False Move, and received international attention after writing, directing, and starring in the independent drama film Sling Blade, 1996, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor. He appeared in several major film roles in the 1990s following Sling Blade, including Oliver Stone's Neo-Noir U-Turn, 1997, political drama Primary Colors, 1998, science fiction disaster film Armageddon, 1998, the highest grossing film of that year, and the crime drama A Simple Plan, 1998, which earned him his third Oscar nomination. In the 2000s, Thornton achieved further success in starring dramas Monsters Ball, 2001, The Man Who Isn't There, 2001, and Friday Night Lights, 2004, Comedies Bandits, 2001, Intolerable Cruelty, 2003, and Bad Santa, 2003, and action films Eagle Eye, 2008, and Faster, 2010. In 2014, Thornton starred as Lord Malvo in the first season of the anthology series Fargo, earning a nomination for the Outstanding Lead Actor in a Ministerious or TV Movie at the Emmy Awards and won Best Actor in a Miniseries or TV Film at the 72nd Golden Globe Awards. In 2016, he starred in an Amazon original series, Goliath, which earned him a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Television Series Drama. Thornton has been vocal about his distaste for celebrity culture, choosing to keep his life out of the public eye. However, the attention of the media has proven unavoidable in certain cases, his marriage to Angelina Jolie being a notable example. Thornton has written a variety of films, usually set in the southern United States and mainly co written with Tom Epperson, including A Family Thing. 1996, and The Gift, 2000. After Sling Blade, he directed several other films, including Daddy and Them, 2001, All the Pretty Horses, 2000, and Jane Mansfield's Car, 2012. Thornton has received the President's Award from the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films, a Special Achievement Award from the National Board of Review, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He has also been nominated for an Emmy Award four Golden Globes, and three Screen Actors Guild Awards. In addition to film work, Thornton began a career as a singer-songwriter. He has released four solo albums and is the vocalist of the blues rock band The Box Masters. Billy Bob Thornton was born on August 4, 1955, in Hot Springs, Arkansas, the son of Virginia Roberta, Nay Faulkner, died July 29, 2017, a self-proclaimed psychic, and William Raymond Billy Ray Thornton. November 1929, August 1974, a high school history teacher and basketball coach. His brother, Jimmy Don, April 1958, October 1988, wrote a number of songs, two of which, Island Avenue and Emily, Thornton has recorded on his solo albums. He is of part Irish descent. He also has another brother, John David Thornton. Thornton lived in numerous places in Arkansas during his childhood, including Alpine. Malvern, and Mount Holly. He was raised Methodist in an extended family in a shack that had no electricity or plumbing. He graduated from Malvern High School in 1973. A good high school baseball player, he tried out for the Kansas City Royals, but was released after an injury. After a short period laying asphalt for the Arkansas State Transportation Department, he attended Henderson State University to pursue studies in psychology, but dropped out after two semesters. In the mid-1980s, Thornton settled in Los Angeles, California, to pursue his career as an actor, with future writing partner Tom Epperson. He had a difficult time succeeding as an actor and worked in telemarketing, offshore wind farming, and fast food management between auditioning for acting jobs. He also played the drums and sang with South African rock band Jack Hammer. While working as a waiter for an industry event, he served film director and screenwriter Billy Wilder. He struck up a conversation with Wilder, who advised Thornton to consider a career as a screenwriter. Thornton's first screen role was in 1980 South of Reno, where he played a small role as a counterman in a restaurant. He also made an appearance as a pawn store clerk in the 1987 Matlock episode The Photographer. Another one of his early screen roles was as a cast member on the CBS sitcom Hearts of Fire. 
His role as the villain in 1992's One False Move, which he also co-wrote, brought him to the attention of critics. He also had small roles in the 1990s films Indecent Proposal, On Deadly Ground, Bound by Honor, and Tombstone. He went on to write, direct, and star in the 1996 independent film Sling Blade. The film, an expansion of the short film some folks call it a sling blade, introduced the story of a mentally handicapped man imprisoned for a gruesome and seemingly inexplicable murder. Sling Blade garnered international acclaim. Thornton's screenplay earned him an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay, a Writer's Guild of America Award, and an Edgar Award, while his performance received Oscar and Screen Actors Guild nominations for Best Actor. In 1998, Thornton portrayed the James Carville like Richard Gemmins in Primary Colors. He adapted the book All the Pretty Horses into a 2000 film off same name. The negative experience, he was forced to cut more than an hour of footage, led to his decision to never direct another film. A subsequent release, Daddy and Them, had been filmed earlier. Also in 2000, an early script which he and Tom Epperson wrote together was made into The Gift. In 2000, Thornton appeared in Travis Tritt's music video for the song Modern Day Bonnie and Clyde. His screen persona has been described by the press as Tad of a Tattooed, Hirsute Man's Man. He appeared in several major film roles following the success of Sling Blade, including 1998's Armageddon and A Simple Plan. In 2001, he directed Daddy and Them while securing starring roles in three Hollywood films, Monsters Ball, Bandits, and The Man Who Wasn't There, for which he received many awards. Thornton played a malicious small Santa in 2003's Bad Santa, a black comedy that performed well at the box office and established him as a leading comic actor, and in the same year, portrayed a womanizing president of the United States in the British romantic comedy film Love Actually. He stated that, following the success of Bad Santa, audiences like to watch him play that kind of guy and that casting directors call him up when they need an asshole. He referred to this when he said that it's kinda that simple. You know how narrow the imagination in this business can be. In 2004, Thornton played David Crockett in The Alamo. Later that year, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on October 7. He appeared in the 2006 comic film School for Scoundrels. In the film, he plays a self-help doctor, which was written specifically for him. More recent films include 2007 drama The Astronaut Farmer and the comedy Mr. Woodcock in which he played a sadistic gym teacher. In September 2008, he starred in the action film Eagle Eye. He has also expressed an interest in directing another film, possibly a period piece about cave explorer Floyd Collins, based on the book Trapped. The Story of Floyd Collins In 2014, Thornton starred as sociopathic hitman Lauren Malvo in the FX miniseries Fargo, based on the 1996 film of the same name, for which he won a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Miniseries. On October 30, 2014, on The Big Bang Theory, he played a middle-aged urologist who gets excited about every woman who touches him. He showed the boys his collection of film memorabilia. Goliath, a television series by Amazon Studios, features Thornton as a formerly brilliant and personable lawyer, now washed out an alcoholic. It premiered on October 13, 2016, on Amazon Video. On February 15, 2017, Amazon announced the series had been renewed for a second season. In 2017, Thornton starred in the music video Stand Down by Cario Salem, musically known as K.O. It received the award Best Music Video in the Toronto Shorts International Film Festival and has 13 million views on Facebook and counting. From the time he was 10 years old, Thornton has been in bands. His first performance was on drums at a school PTA meeting where his band played the ballad out the Green Berets instrumentally. Several bands followed, with Thornton's first recording experience coming at Widget Sound in Muscle Shoals, Alabama in 1974. Later in the 1970s, Thornton was the drummer of a blues rock band named Trace Hombres. Guitarist Billy Gibbons referred to the band as the best little cover band in Texas, and Thornton bears a tattoo with the band's name on it. In 2001, Thornton released an album titled Private Radio on Lost Highway Records. The Edge of the World, 2003, Hobo, 2005, and Beautiful Door, 2007. He performed the Warren's Yvonne song The Wind on the Tribute album. Thornton recorded a cover of the Johnny Cash classic Ring of Fire with Earl Scruggs, for the Oxford American Magazine Southern Music CD in 2001. The song also appeared on Scruggs' 2001 album Earl Scruggs and Friends. 
Sports. In 2007 Thornton formed the Box Masters with J.D. Andrew. Thornton has been married six times, with the first five marriages ending in divorce, and he has four children by three women. From 1978 to 1980, he was married to Melissa Lee Gatlin, with whom he had a daughter, Amanda. Thornton married actress Toni Lawrence in 1986, they separated the following year and divorced in 1988. From 1990 to 1992, he was married to actress Cinda Williams, whom he cast in his writing debut, One False Move. 1992. In 1993, Thornton married Playboy model Pietra Doncherniak, with whom he had two sons, Harry James and William. The marriage ended in 1997, with Cherniak accusing Thornton of spousal abuse. Thornton was engaged to be married to actress Laura Dern, whom he dated from 1997 to 1999, but in 2000, he married actress Angelina Jolie, with whom he starred in Pushing Tin, 1999 and who is 20 years his junior. The marriage became known for the couple's eccentric displays of affection, which reportedly included wearing vials of each other's blood around their necks. Thornton later clarified that the vials were actually two small lockets, each containing only a single drop of blood. Thornton and Jolie announced the adoption of a child from Cambodia in March 2002, but it was later revealed that Jolie had adopted the child as a single parent. They separated in June 2002 and divorced the following year. In 2003, Thornton began a relationship with makeup effects crew member Connie Angland, with whom he has a daughter named Bella. They reside in Los Angeles, California. Though he once said that he likely would not marry again, saying that he believes marriage doesn't work for him, his representatives confirmed that he and Angland were married on October 22, 2014, in Los Angeles. During his early years in Los Angeles, Thornton was admitted to a hospital and diagnosed with myocarditis. He has since said that he follows a vegan diet and is extremely healthy, eating no junk food as he is allergic to wheat and dairy. Thornton suffers from OCD. Various idiosyncratic behaviors have been well documented in interviews with Thornton, among these is a phobia of antique furniture, a disorder shared by Dwight Yoakam's character Doyle Hargraves in the Thornton Penciling Blade and by Thornton's own character in the 2001 film Bandits. Additionally, he has stated that he has a fear of certain types of silverware a trait assumed by his character in 2001's Monsters Ball, in which Grotowski insists on a plastic spoon for his daily bowl of ice cream. In a 2004 interview with The Independent, Thornton explained, It's just that I won't use real silver. You know, like the big, old, heavy-ass forks and knives, I can't do that. It's the same thing as the antique furniture. I just don't like old stuff. I'm creeped out by it, and I have no explanation why. I don't have a phobia about American antiques, it's mostly French, you know, like the big, old, gold-carved chairs with the velvet cushions. The Louis XIV type. That's what creeps me out. I can spot the imitation antiques a mile off. They have a different vibe. Not as much dust. Thornton is a baseball fan, his favorite team is the St. Louis Cardinals, and he has said that his childhood dream was to play for them. He narrated the 2006 World Series film. The e rent retrospective DVD chronicling the Cardinals' championship season. He is also a professed fan of the Indianapolis Colts football team. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.